there, rock stars. Eric Andreas, your guitar sage here, to teach you the proper posture, the proper positioning of how to hold your guitar and how to hold your pick. Two very overlooked things, especially for beginners, but there are some folks that have been playing for a long time that are still not doing this correctly. Now, you can work around doing things the wrong way and still play the guitar well, but there are reasons why we hold the guitar certain ways. Certain, there's also reasons why we hold the pick a certain way. Okay, so let's talk about this. Now, I've got my guitar in a strap, obviously, and I have this in a, in a place where when I have the neck up like this, I can reach all my strings and I'm not having to slump down or if the guitar is down here, you'll see some rockers play this way, and sometimes I do too. As, as a beginner, that's the kiss of death. You don't want to do that. As you get to playing guitar more, you can do this, but in the beginning, you don't want to do that because it's severely gonna, going to hurt the way your chords sound and your scales and everything. So you want to make sure that the guitar neck is at a place where when you put your hand around it, you have some space right between the palm of your hand and the guitar neck. You want there to be, at least to have the ability to put some room in there. You don't want to be like this where you're palming the guitar neck like that, okay? Now, you may say, I see Jack White do it. I see Dave Grohl do it. I see Jimi Hendrix do it. When you start playing like them, then you can do that, okay? thing that I'm trying to tell you here is don't do it especially as a beginner. It's truly important that you have some room to where you can play your chords correctly. As you get to playing more, you'll be able to do that. I still do it. Sometimes I'll play like this. I'll have my thumb right over the top of the neck. Um, but for beginners, don't do it. Okay? So you want to make sure that when you have the guitar set up properly or when you, when you have it in its strap, you don't have it too low. If it, if it was low or if I had my neck down here, look how far I'm having to reach for this neck, okay? So technically, I could have the guitar up higher and you could see the neck coming up, but one, it looks corny, <laughs> and two, I can always do this, and I can bring the neck up like that, so I can play like that. So there's a certain amount of cool, yeah, you don't wanna have your guitar up here, that looks really corny, I don't want you to look stupid, but I want you to play well more than anything else. If you're not playing well and you got your guitar way down to your knees and it sounds like crap, I'm not gonna come to hear your band. I'm just not gonna do it. If you're playing up here and you're rocking out punk and it sounds amazing, I'm gonna be like, that punker looks hilarious with his guitar up there, but he sounds amazing. Okay, so impress the people first with your musicality, then put the guitar down if you want, okay? All right, let's talk about how to, how to hold the pick. I see a lot of people holding the pick like this in between their thumb and their second finger, their middle finger, okay? What you want to do is hold it like this between the thumb and the first finger, okay? I also see folks doing this. They'll hold the pick between their thumb and the first finger, but it's kind of at that, that, that bottom knuckle. Don't do that, my friends. Why? Because you're not going to have control of the pick. You can't do what you need to do like this. It doesn't mean that you can't strum chords. It means that you're not going to have the control that you're looking for. So don't be stubborn. If you want to sound good, hold this between the thumb and the first finger, especially if you're at the tip of those fingers. You're able to do much more with it. Is it going to feel a little awkward at first and feel like you don't have as good of a hold of it instead of doing that? Yep but you're going to get used to it and you're going to be much better at it. I promise you, okay? There's a million reasons why you would do this. Think about when you were holding a pencil as a child. You wanted to grab it like this or, or a crayon. You'd want to do like this. But imagine being a businessman and going to sign your check like this. People are going to go, what in heaven's name is this Neanderthal doing? And then you learn that when you're writing like this, you have much more control. Same thing with the pick, okay? All right, my friends, it's a lot of information, but practice this. I promise that you're going to get good at this, all right? Hey, if you need anything 
Um, any, any help whatsoever on the guitar, I'm here for you. Go to the Unstoppable Guitar System. Get in that giant super course for $1. Go to yourguitarstage.com. Make sure you get the free ebook and get on that newsletter. You get to sit with me personally in my video, my live video lessons, and I'll even give you uh, a, a special gift. So make sure you go there. Uh, if you need to get in touch with me here on YouTube, do it. On Facebook, Twitter, and all that good stuff, do it. I'm here for you. Anything that you want to do in this instrument, you can do. I promise you that. I'm living proof of that. Let me help you. Please, spay and neuter your animals. Don't trust the man. And practice your guitar. See ya! Thank you.